mentioned earlier, the severe weather threat is over, but it left behind damage across the Gulf Coast today. The National Weather Service confirms two tornadoes touched down in Jackson County, Mississippi, just before sunrise. The first touching down near Ocean Springs around 6.30 this morning. It downed power poles and broke seven windows and damaged cars at a Walmart. A second tornado touched down near Escatapa, Mississippi, damaging several properties. Strong storms toppled trees all over the News 5 area this morning. There were reports of damage from Mobile over to Northwest Florida. News 5's Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola with more on the hardest hit areas. Yeah, Mel, the farther west you are, the more damage you saw. And like Roseanne said, two confirmed tornadoes touched down in Mississippi. But for many people in the News 5 area, they had fallen trees. This is what Beverly Dunmore found when she walked out of her home Thursday on Newsom Street in Pritchard. I heard a crack and I looked out the window and the whole tree just fell on my car. This massive tree outside her childhood home smashed her red Toyota. I was trapped in the house for about the hour and a half to two hours. I could not get out. And because it was all of this was blocked, everything up here was blocked. Now she can't find her seven-month-old German Shepherd who was on the porch at the time. She's thankful that she and her family are okay. I've been nervous all day. In Northwest Florida, Ellen Adcock lives on Turkey Creek Drive in Navarre. I looked out the windows and I could see the neighbors' trees going back and forth. She's also thankful to be okay. This tree fell in her backyard. I could see through the kitchen window that this tree was now sitting on my gazebo. Um, and it, it was over that quick. It was just a minute, maybe two. Not far from there, we found these trees that had fallen just west of Highway 87 in Navarre. A lot of people breathing a sigh of relief tonight. Uh, some scary storms, they say, but everyone is just thankful that it was not worse. Reporting live in Northwest Florida, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.